Today I'm going to show you how to install an SSL certificate on your WordPress website. It's a good idea. They're fairly inexpensive nowadays and just that added security is going to help you out with your, your Google ranking. So on this website, I'm going to buy a certificate. It's hosted on a, a VPS server. So I do have access to my, my web host manager, my WHM panel. Uh, and that's where we're going to need access today. So if you have a reseller or a VPS or even a dedicated, you can do this yourself. If not, uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do this the least expensive way. Most hosting does provide uh, SSL installation for you. You can purchase directly from your, your web host. But for instance, uh, an Emotion hosting, it's uh, $99 a year for the certificate. And you're going to definitely need a a de dedicated IP address, which is worked out for another $24 a month plus uh, installation fee of 25. So you're looking at $150 your first uh, year. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to get these certificates a bit cheaper. And, and if, you, if you're willing to do the work yourself, you're going to save yourself uh, quite a bit of money. So like I said, you're going to need a dedicated IP address and an SSL certificate. The place I recommend going to is getting an account at eGnome. And under security, they have SSL certificates for sale. Now there's these all these ones. The one I suggest, uh, strongly suggest is the Komodo one. It covers the HTTP and the uh, WWW HTTP as well. GeoTrust doesn't. Uh, and I find GeoTrust certificates just for loading your site. It's, they seem a little bit slower than the Komodo ones. So if we go to Komodo, the reason I'm, I'm suggesting Enome is the price. They're, they're $10 a year. So you can check out different ones, which ones you may need, but really you only need the, the most simplest one, which is the, the Komodo uh, Essential, a basic SSL. Uh, so we're going to buy this now. Because your website may want to have some sort of payment uh, cart on it or access to uh, maybe e-commerce or something like that. And this one will do you fine. So for $10, you're covered. So we can buy it now. I'm just going to purchase one year. Okay, so that should be in my account now. So now that's purchased, I go back to security, SSL certificates, and manage. So you can see that I have a couple here, not configured, awaiting configuration. So you can just log in here. So next step we're gonna have to do is to generate a CCR certificate. So you're gonna wanna log into your WHM panel here and down near the bottom here is your SSL certificate. And generate an SSL certificate will bring you to this information. What you're going to need, uh, this is an email address. I suggest just creating an, an email address on the domain name that you're um, gonna be hosting with. So you can go to your email accounts and create one. It's best to have one with the word administration or webmaster or something like that. So I just use this one. I've created it. I'm going to use this one. This is where they're going to be sending it to. And we're going to bring this up to 4,096 bits uh, because coming in 2016, Google Chrome prefers the uh, higher the higher uh, security than uh, others. So you may be getting warnings uh, coming up soon. So you might as well go with the higher size and the domain. Okay, without the HTTP or anything, just the, the straight domain and the city. Take note of all this information because you're gonna wanna use the same information for your, your uh, hosting account or for your 
uh, back at enum. Not going to fill in the company division and the email. That's again. And a paraphrase, you can add that or not, but uh, oops, made a spelling mistake. This is going to generate the certificate. So you have a begin certificate request, begin certificate, and you also have a key. So the next step is just to look at, back here and see what they're asking for. They're asking for the certificate request, which is the first one here. So you can just copy that. And the custom contact information. Okay. Technical and auxiliary billing. Yeah, just make double check that all your information you've added is correct, and we're going to submit the certificate. Select approval email. We're going to use the administration. This is why I said to uh, add a, an administration email in your hosting account, because these are the ones you want to do to, because um, these are the ones that they, they use. So that I chose admin and submit certificate. So that's processing. I'm going to pause it for a minute because I'll, I'll go check my emails and see uh, what I have. Okay, so I went to the email account, and as you can see, in about five minutes, you get your order from Komodo. So let's take a look and see what they say here. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our code. This is a security code. And we're going to wait for the next email. Okay, uh, Komodo sent me a second email. This is the actual certificate here. So they do have instructions here if you want to follow those as well, which I, I may have to refer back to these. Okay, there's a zip containing my root CA certificate, my intermediate certificate, my domain validation certificate, and the uh, essential certificate. Now you're only going to need these if you're doing a command line install, sort of a Linux thing. We're, we're actually going to do it the super easy way. This is what we're going to have to install on the, the web host. Uh, install an SS certificate on a domain. That's what we're looking for. So you can read this information. It's going to install the onto the domains www and the uh, root domain as well. So if we browse our certificates, and we can use this. We're going to use this certificate, but we're going to have to change something here. So we'll we'll start with that. It's a self-signed certificate. We don't want that. So use certificate. This part is correct. We don't have to touch the private key. That's what we're actually looking for when we use that this button up here. And we're going to change this because this is what we, we received in our email. This is the certificate you want to use from Komodo. And you'll see the difference here in a second. This is a self-signed certificate, which means it was issued from this host. And if we paste this, now we have the Komodo one. Uh, issued. 
So like I said, we're gonna leave this private key. Now you don't need the certificate authority bundle. That was the last one. That's only if you're doing it with uh, Linux. It's gonna automatically go find that for you. We're gonna install. Successfully installed. So we can just uh, take a look now at our domain. It's successfully installed, so we can check this out. So to see if this is working, we're gonna to have to force some SSL. So we can do this by adding a rule to the config file. Forcing the SSL on the admin. And there we go. So we have our HTTP access for our admin. And we can see that we have a green uh, validation here. So that's it. All, that's all we need to use for uh, getting your HTTPS set up, your SSL. And uh, that again is I'm going to recommend using Enome. For $10, you, you have an SSL certificate installed on your domain. And just make sure your domain does have its own private uh, IP address. Thanks for watching.